Um, yeah. Kind of the size, the group? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I low-key expect better, man. Um, and that's and that's the goal to go ahead and get better every week. Um, uh, but like you said, um, doing some cool things, but um, just to build on that, stack on that, and um, try to go out and be even more dominant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Obviously, um, just from schematics to the mindset to uh, just holding um, everybody holding each other accountable uh, in our room, um, and I feel like uh, the players being able to speak on Saturdays before the game from every position. Um, I feel like that's that's been huge so far for us. Um, just knowing what it, uh, knowing what it's gonna take from each group to uh, get the job done on Sunday. It's just some uh, Coach Miller does that I feel like um, it's it's important. It's important to hear uh, from every guy, well, from every group, what the mindset is. And uh, going into the game, um, we all know as a group what what they expect. And so, the, uh, yeah, and so that's the accountability of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which is, you know what I'm saying? Which is what we always do in certain kind of ways, but it's different when you step in front of the whole group. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, it got a different feel to it. Yeah. That's each position coach? Are you talking about? No, no, players. No, players. players. Okay. Yeah. So like one one guy from each group or each unit is kind of like the representative for that unit. Just how, like, how does this? Damn, I don't know. What else, what else, <laughs> I don't think I explained. I don't think I explained it right, but no, nah, I feel like that's something that helped uh, so far. Um, because the, the expectation is the expectation. And um, it's so much greater than, you know what I'm saying, what we've done so far. And so um, that's the only good thing about it, man. We got a lot a lot more room to grow. Jesse mentioned that heading into that Saints game, he kind of challenged you guys to get pressure on yeah. first and second downs because, yeah. and you kind of mentioned this after the game, young quarterback, yeah. third and longs, they're going to try and protect yeah. him. Yeah. Just to, how encouraged were you guys by being able to get as many sacks and, and the pressure you did on early downs to sort of f fulfill the plan that he was talking about? I felt like it was a hunger for more. It was a, it was a need for more. Um, we saw what they were trying to do, and so uh, we made the adjustments. But, um, yeah, it was a hunger and a need for more, man. We could have we did a lot more, uh, especially against that group. Yeah. What do you see from uh, Jameis now that he's their quarterback? Man, Jameis, famous Jameis, man. Uh, Man, hell of a dude, man. Character uh, speaks volumes. Um, I know he's gonna have those guys ready um, on Sunday, and so it's always gonna be a challenge uh, when you're going against a guy like that, um, especially just the mindset he's had and, and the player that he's been um, since he's been in this league. Um, it's impressive, man. It's impressive. Um, I know what is it? Probably year ten for him. I know it's probably a year a year ahead of him. Um, met him at the Pro Bowl in 2015 or something like that, and. Um, yeah, he's been the same dude ever since, man. And a uh, cool dude. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun to go against him. Chucking it all over the field like he trusts yeah, it on. He, he trusts his arm. He let it fly. And um, yeah, he gets he get the receivers a chance to make plays, man. And uh, it's, it's going to be a challenge for us this week. He you knows Jameis pretty well. Yeah. What, what did he add to their offense? Uh, he adds just the confidence. You know, he's that leader, the alpha. You know what I mean? Um, so he, he's going to get the guys to rally, and they're going to play hard for him. Could you tell a difference in their offense? Yeah, uh, for sure. You could tell the difference. Uh, and and um, like I said, guys want to get open. Uh, they're running hard, and um, everybody's playing hard for him. You could tell that he's one of the leaders in their locker room. You guys have uh, emphasized tackling. Yeah. How important is that against Nick Chubb? Uh, it's very important because uh, Nick Chubb, one of the best running backs in this league. Uh, he, he has been for, the, for every year he's been in. We came in together. So uh, we just got to be ready. And um, everybody got to be there to tackle. Uh, not just Nick Chubb, but all their backs, all their tight ends. We got to just be ready to tackle all those guys. Yeah. But where do you stand on the, how the defense has been playing so far? There's, some of the guys say it's great, but we, there's yeah. room for improvement. Oh, there's definitely room for improvement. Um, I feel like we're in a yeah. good spot, but uh, we definitely not at where we want to be as a defense. Uh, nowhere, nowhere near where we want to be. And, um, I feel like uh, we, we're working every week to get better, every day, matter of fact, to get better, and we're just trying to do that. Is that a good thing? That the numbers look pretty good, but 
you think it can get better? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a good thing. I mean, that's the hand we're dealt. But like I said, you definitely we could be in a worse situation being. Um, so definitely helps, you know, that we can be where we're at. Saturdays, you guys have like a team meeting, and then a guy from each like unit speaks to the team. Who, that, who said that? Cleo. Oh yeah. Uh, like, what are those sessions like, and why do you think those are helpful for this defense? You said that they're good for kind of like accountability. Oh, just accountability. Uh, just seeing what you can bring to the team, uh, what you need to bring for your team. I feel like that's good to hear as players. Uh, I, I feel like if Khalil didn't know how I think how what I feel like can bring to the game, I feel like it makes him rush that much harder. If I know that he's going to set the edge, it just lets me know what I can do as a player. So just everybody what they can bring to the game. So when you're speaking, you say what like what do what do people say to each other like, when you stand up in front of the team? Like what do you say? Whatever on your heart, whatever on your chest, whatever you feel, like whatever mood you in. So it changes, it varies. So really, however, whatever people mood in, whatever they feeling. They're going to get off their stuff. To have, have those sessions and like player-to-player communication, how do you think that strengthens the defense? And you guys are like, playing team defense is a huge thing of what you guys do. Uh, I feel like uh, it, it helps a lot. Uh, man. It lets me know that I got my brother's keeper, and I, I know he's going to be where I need him to be. And um, as, as long as we do that, we'll like what we see. I, I know you're not going like up against him one-on-one -on -one or anything, but what, what do you think of the job Joe Alt's done since he's come in. Oh, he's a monster, bro. He's a, he's a, he's a monster, and he's still a lot similar. Like, you know, like he's still a baby, <laughs> but he's like he a monster, like he a beast, and like I love him, bro. Like uh, just his approach to the game. He, he's a great guy to have in the locker room, man. Um, humble kid, works hard every day, and uh, man, I wish he had 11 Joe Alt's on this. Like he's a, he's a good player, he's a good kid. Uh, what was your view on Justin's run? It seemed like you were right. I was, I was hyped. I mean, I was, I was. That just fired me up, bro. I felt like I felt when he, when he did it, it was like it just energized the whole team. Um, I definitely got up and I was just like, I like that type of stuff, man. It, it gets us going, especially like you know when our captains, when our top guys make a play, it amplifies the team and. Um, yeah, everybody seen it. Were you on the bench? Oh yeah, I was on the bench. I got off the bench, and ran over there. Let's go. Yeah. What, Show them a little love. Are you watching that on the big screen or are you, no, I'm, can you see? So I was watching the big screen and then it, it came right in front of my right, view. Right, right. Right, it was right about a 50 yard right, right in my view. So I seen it and I just ran. <laughs> let's go, let's go hurt. What you think? What he sort of laid a hit on the guy. He got the worst of it. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, but he, yeah, he kind of. I'm like, I was proud of him. Bro. I'm like, okay, yeah, there you go. He, he looked good, bro. Did you uh, imagine taking him on one on one? Like, you're not going to, right? So, like, yeah. No, nah, I wouldn't even imagine doing that to my boy. I don't even. Nah, I'm, I'm on TNT, man, for sure. But well, I guess what I'm trying to ask you: what, what does it mean when he does that to an opposing player? Oh man, I, when he does yeah. that, it's like, man, it energizes everybody. It gives life to. Offense, defense, special teams, and they let us know that, man, like the value, how much he wants to win. Because, I mean, he's, he's our quarterback. He know how valuable he is to our team. For him to get out there, set the tone, I mean, you, you don't see that. And uh, for him to do that, I feel like that that let us know, like, everything we need to know about him. You feeling good? I am. Uh, is there, like, a hurdle or something you've got to get over to be able to play on Sunday? Uh... You know, just continue to progress throughout the week. Um, but, you know, I think as long as I'm tracking the way I am, I feel like that's a very real possibility. Yeah. Has it been you know, frustrating at all? Like, you, you go on with a hip, now you're coming out with a groin. Like, what, you know, uh, I mean, you're building up a little bit. I mean, it, it's, it's nothing new. It's all the same thing, you know. Uh, just frustrating, of course. Uh, but taking it. You know, one day at a time, uh, just practicing mindfulness and things like that, just trying to stay and focus on what I can control. And it's been working. It's been helping me out a lot. Uh, being out pretty much two months in the football season is like years. And so but I can't wait to play with my guys. Uh, I love these guys. They're great teammates. Uh, they've been very supportive. And, you know, I just want to come and, you know, pull my weight and nothing more, nothing less, uh, and help this team win. What do you think of Lad's 100-yard uh, game and his first two-touchdown game in his career? Oh, it was great. It was exciting. We finally got that uh, over that century mark. Um, great player, great teammate. Uh, I think, you know, the sky's the limit for him. He's really he's really good. So uh, I'm excited to uh, finally get out there and uh 
play with them as well as the other guys, you know. Hopefully, you know, we get Q back soon and we can finally go out there like we were supposed to week one, you know. What impresses you the most about Lance? Like maybe skill set and like what what he brings to that position at receiver that's unique about him? Um, just his natural instincts, uh, able to get in and out of breaks, make guys miss. Um, he makes some really good catches, some really tough catches. Uh, so just all that in one and being so young and being able to do it is, is very impressive.